Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and this is w this week's tarot. Whoa, <laughs> okay. So for those of you wondering where all my videos are this week, please know I'm on holidays at this point until the 17th of July. So I'm still doing videos and I'm still getting into my emails a little bit, but please understand I'm just taking time off for me at this point. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just taking some relaxing time for me and my daughter. Okay, so it's this week's tarot. Now, if you noticed last week and during the week in other videos, I've actually said things like the truth is coming out because I knew that there was something going on and I didn't realize it was Julian Assange being released. Okay, so he is the truth seeker and he has come out of jail now. So he's been released, he's now in Canberra, Australia. For those who don't know who Julian Assange is, he was the one 10, 20 years ago, I'm going to allege here, okay, because he's up on espionage charges. So I've got to be careful with what I say because he has just pleaded guilty. So we've got to be careful how we talk about him. But allegedly, he was the one releasing all the government emails, government files and other top secret information about what things that they don't want us to know. And he got caught and they threw his butt into jail as a consequence. So this is the big debate. Are we allowed to dob in mates or are we allowed to dob in the government? Because if we dob in our mates, we're looked as heroes. Yes, they've done a criminal offence. Praise that person, they get a reward. But when we dob in someone in government, oh yeah, there's a lot of legislation now that supports the people doing it, if you know what I'm talking about. So Julian Assange, don't know where he is going moving forward, but he's now back in his loving wife's arms. So thank God he's out of jail, he's now at home, and let's just hope and pray he takes some time now to heal the past few years that he's been in jail, because it is a very traumatic experience. Um, so let's just hope and pray that he does come out at some point with some little truth bombs that aren't illegal to let us know what's really going on. Okay, so this week's tarot is still all about truth coming out. Have you noticed every single day now we're learning something else about something else that we didn't ever know before that the government is now doing, okay? Because I'll tell you why I believe this. We're psychic. All of us are psychic. We all have innate lovely abilities that allow us to really know in our gut and intuition what's going on out there, right? So when you hear a story, now let's just make up a story here. I don't know. Somebody's done something wrong, okay? Your gut says, but no, I didn't. Always trust that gut instinct, okay? Do some research, work it out. Become that little in investigator. Become your own little psychic detective, okay? Work it out. And then if it's wrong, you just say, oh, well, psychics are always not on the right page here. You know, that's why we aren't accredited courses. And that's why the government won't insure us because we do get it wrong, okay? Psychic ability is never guaranteed. They can't guarantee it. So it can't be government um, administered, regulated, okay? So therefore, trust your gut and work it out if it's true or not. So this week I'm seeing a lot of changes are still coming out. There are now a lot of people talking about things that we would never talk about, okay? I just went down to the Gold Coast um, the other day with a friend of mine. We were sitting on the beach and it was funny that I heard these other people talking about vaccines and government. And I thought, three years ago, these people would never have been saying what they're now saying. You know, it is very, very weird. So truth is still coming out, guys. This is a time where we must heal what we've been going through and try and to be there as a supportive, loving friend and family member to those who still are waking up. Because it can be very traumatic finding out the truth behind what's going on with our lives, yeah? All right, so I've got the tarot cards. I've just been connecting with my cards while I've been talking. But I'm getting told to start with a ruin stone today. 
So I'm going to start with my ruins. Here they are in my little bag. Hello, ruin stones. So that is I connect to these guys. I just say, as a generalized reading today for all of us great soul searching warriors, right? One stone that we all need to feel. Oh, I'm getting drawn. Now it's just here. Just here. There's a real hot one that just came hot in my hand. I can feel him. It's just in there. Let me just feel him. Oh my God, it's this one here at the bottom. Oh, he's only a little one. Oh, okay. So it's this one. Okay. So I'll put my tap, my ruin stones over there. And now I go over to my ruin guide. And I find the one that I'm looking at. Oh, wow. This is really a weird one. The energy coming off this one is weird today. Oh, it's this one down here. Okay, it's daybreak. Oh, daybreak. I love it. So here it is here, guys. No, not that one. It's that one there. Daybreak. Okay, so I'm going to read you all this here. The good side. I only do the good side. So there he is. Okay, let me just do daybreak. The stone of the night god sought to ride a chariot each dawn to bring in the day. Now, remember what people say about the daybreak. It's always something new starting. Okay, so that goes along with what I was just saying about truths coming out. We've got to be aware of the people now just going through all those traumas of the new information. It's like a new day coming to them. Okay. Um, the last letter of the Elder Futhark ruins. As such, this ruin is the symbol of endings and beginnings. Wow. Now, I know World Bank's governments, they're on this, they're starting to get a bit fearful here with the amount of information that us, the public, are now starting to receive, right? They're worried. <laughs> They're worried. So there's endings coming. Why do you think now we have to go to digital ID? Why do you think now they're trying to make us cashless? Because this is a way of them controlling us. We must never go cashless, guys. I carry cash everywhere I go. I pay with cash. And if they say, oh, damn, what an inconvenience. I haven't got any change. I say to them, well, too bad. You should have it in your till. Go get your manager and, and work it out because I'm not paying with my card. I've got no money in my card because it's all in cash. So put them on the spot, guys. We've got to fight this, okay, with what they're trying to do. So I've got three dot points here for the Daybreak Ruin. All right, let's read these. Oh, and if you want to know, it's called Dargaz. Dargaz is the name of it. All right, so let's have a look. A signal to go ahead. Yes! And embrace something new. Now, this could be new work, new location to live in, new hobbies, new friends, new ideas, new development could be happening to you right now. Okay? So this is a time to start going. This is a time not to stand still. This is a time to get out and move one forward. One step forward. Put your foot forward. What is it you want to do? If it's you want to lose weight, then maybe only eat half of your dinner tonight. I don't know. If you want to start exercising, it all starts with just walking to the door and back. Okay? You don't have to get out of, the, of your house. Just walk to the front door and walk back to where you were. That's a start. So that's what the cards are saying right now. It's a start. This is where we start. Okay? We're at that starting gate and the horn's about to bring and keep going. All right. Second one says it's a good omen for new beginnings. Personal business, finance, romantic and spiritual like personal development. Right. And the last one says also good time to acquire a new skill or a sign that you will overcome or cure a health issue. Yes. Now, you guys, you got to remember here, I've had a lot of health issues in my life. And the best way to get over them is to stop talking about it because the more we talk about it, the more our brain creates it. So what do we start creating? Happiness, health and harmony. The three H's, I love them. Happiness, health and harmony. The more we say happiness, health, harmony. I am harmony. I am health. I am happy. 
I have health. I have happiness. I have harmony. The more we say it, the more we're bringing it into ourselves. And the more we say, thank you that I have. Thank you that I am. The more we say that grace to God, angels, heaven, whoever's out there listening through the ether, right? The more we do it, the more we are uplifting our vibration and the more it comes back to us. We never do it for the rewards, guys, because they know if we're cheating it, okay? All right? So keep the faith and keep moving forward, okay? So now I've got my little angel cards. She's telling me to do the tarot last, by the way. All right, so I've got my tarot cards here. Keep coming because I'm going to do a tarot card as well for us this week. So here's my little lovey-dovey cards. I love these little lovey-dovey cards. They all have the little love doves on the front. They've all got the little dove doves and every card starts with the word love. So let me now shuffle my cards. Thank you, cards. One card, please, that we all need to hear. Spiritual. What did I call us? Soul Searching Warriors. I like it. How do you feel about it? Comment below if you like that name. Soul Searching Warriors. Okay. You know, we are the truth seekers. We are the ones living the life that the government really doesn't want us to live, do they? <laughs> so if you watch me and on my channel, I'm doing a psychic bananas. All that stuff that makes us go nuts, like we go bananas. So psychic bananas this week is all about... Oh, now I don't know what happened there, but two have... A few just turned around in the deck. Look at that. When did that happen? A few just turned around in the deck. So I'm going to go with this top one because it is pretty obvious because it's of what the last card was. Well, where we're talking about daybreak, new beginnings, love would start a new project. How important is that this week? So this is the time to get off your butt. This is the time to start looking within yourself and this is the time to really get out there, guys. Do what you want, what you're passionate about. Okay? So get out there. Start doing something. So before I go to my tarot, I'm going over to my book, Five Years in Heaven. Because the very last chapter, chapter 18, it says, get off your butt. So we need a little bit of a push at this moment. So this is my very last chapter on chapter on page 361 of my book, Five Years in Heaven. This is where I went when I died, guys. So if you do want a copy of this, I send it out as a PDF. So down below in the description, you've got a link there how to obtain my books. You'll hear about the life review, where I went when I died. My I saw my great, 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 great grandmother, Karina. She was in there. So I've got some pictures in here. So there she is explaining what reincarnation in the tunnel is to me. So if you want a copy of this, don't go through Amazon or you Booktopia, Lulu. Come to me. It's a lot cheaper for you guys. Get a PDF that you can then print if you want it. Okay. So the one thing left here is to start living the life you want. If you want to be drawn into the dramas created by neighbours or friends, you will attract it and keep it happening. If you want to live a calm, peaceful life that is abundant and financial, you will attract it. So what we think, we create. And where we think is what we attract into us because it's the vibration. So if we're in a happy vibration, we create other things out there to be attracted to us. Okay? Have you ever noticed that when you're in a bad mood, foul mood, you're in a low mood, all your friends ring you and say, oh, you won't believe what just happened to me? Because you're all in that vibrational state. So the more we raise ourselves up, you know, I'll tell you what happened when I went down the beach the other day. We only stayed there for a few hours because it was quite cold and it started raining. But we're sitting on the beach and guess what happened? Birds came and I had a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Much to my friend's disgust, who says, Don't feed the birds! <laughs> and 
well, I can understand why, because then they, you know, they poo everywhere and we're not supposed to feed wild animals, right? But I had a muffin and I threw out some muffins to these birds and they were really quite tame. They were coming right up to my feet and just looking at me, you know, with their eyes. <laughs> you know, birds look with one eye. And then this, I looked up and I thought, wow, I feel so good. And this pelican came from nowhere and it just glided right across, right in front of me. And I thought, there's my reward. And then I sat there and I thought, wow, that was so cool. I've just fed some birds and then this pelican out of nowhere, gliding through. And I looked up and there was all these birds making a perfect V. You know how birds fly in a V, right? Straight across in front of me, these birds flew across in a huge V formation. And I thought, wow, this is what happens when we're in a higher vibration. We notice all these gorgeous, amazing things around us that we would obviously miss if we would think, um, damn, I'm in a foul mood today and we're looking down at our feet. You know what I mean? So this is a time to start doing something where we start appreciating and we start being gracious and thankful and most of all, be appreciative of everything that's going on around us, guys. Okay? Um, the choice is yours, but you must get off your butt and make it happen. That's what I say in this book. The only person who creates heaven on earth is you. For you. I've got it here in my book. I'm reading it. So in bold, I say we must all take personal responsibility to be accountable for our own lives. I'm going to read that again because that's pretty important. That's like a ruined stone in itself today, right? We must all take the personal responsibility to be accountable for our, our for our own lives. It's here in bold. I'm just reading it down here. Okay? So it's virtually giving you all a pep talk. So if you want a copy, come over and email me. My email is below. Linda at lindaray.info. Please email me. And I'm happy to send you my books. Okay? I've got four of them. If you go to my website, lindaray.info, you can have a look at all four of my books to see what I've got there. So now I'm going to get us a tarot card. Last one of the day. Okay connect back okay one card one card please for all us what did i call us soul searching warriors oh i like it please like um give this video a like or comment below if you like soul searching warriors oh gosh it's throwing out a few cards here i don't want three i only want one please one card for us all today one card for us all today Please stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be a psychic banana wake up call. Why they're trying to deliberately turn off the sun. That's coming out. So I've got my card. And we have the king of cups. Wow, he's got Saturn in the background. I've just got to put it on an angle or else my, my light picks it up. So it's the king of cups. So I'll put him down and I'll go over to my... Easy Tarot Handbook. King of Cups. Let's see what this guy says to, about us today. Okay. Just going through. King of Pentacles. King of Cups. That's me. King of Cups. King of Cups is frequently found in their helping professions. Medical care, consultancy, the church, teaching or government agencies that deal with social work. Okay. In whatever setting you may find him. He can be easily recognized due to his care and concern of others. Although this usually manifests through his choice of career. These kings are not generally ambitious by nature. Although that doesn't mean that in the right setting they won't achieve high positions. But it is not ambition alone that drives them. More likely their cause. So go research what the King of Cups means to you guys, personally. But this is a guy who doesn't do it for his own ego. He's not out there to make money for himself. He's out there doing this for others. 
So the more that we do things for others, the kinder we are. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to tell you what I've just watched on Netflix last night. I watched all seven, I think it was, episodes of the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders on Netflix. America's Sweethearts. You know where the cowboy, um, the cheerleaders in the little blue and white uniforms, right? And there's a point in there where they're dressing their... Um, They've come into their dressing rooms and someone has put up the Christmas tree. And obviously they've all made ornaments to go on the Christmas tree. And this girl, she walks up to the Christmas tree and she says, where's my ornament? So the lady comes in who's running the show and she says, everybody take a seat. And I thought, oh, here we go. I hope this is profound. And it actually was for me to tell you about it now. She says, how dare you come in here? Thinking about yourself, where your ornament is. How about you give some thanks to the person who decorated the tree while you weren't here? How about you um, give thanks to the bus driver who got you here today? Instead of being conceited and thinking about what you've done and you're part of that tree. Think of the whole tree is what she was talking about. So when we look about the tree of life, how many people know here the tree of life? When we look at the tree of life, don't worry about just your branch or your, just your leaf or the flower that you are amongst the millions of flowers on the tree. We've got to help the whole tree survive, don't we? Yes. And how do we make a whole tree survive when we're just one little leaf? We nurture, we grow, we look after, we support, and most of all, we love. So this week, as you go out about your duties and the chores, or you're just relaxing at home like I'm trying to do this week, think about others and think about what your part is in creating them to be better themselves. Because that's why I'm here, to make you guys better. So then you go out and you're that ripple effect of love and generosity, kindness, appreciation, forgiveness, that makes us all heaven on earth so on that note guys i'm out of here thank you so much for watching if you want to support this channel my paypal link is below i don't do super chats and i don't do member only videos so if you do want to throw me over a contribution through paypal my link is below my link is below if you wish to email me and also if you're after a reading or if you want any of my books so until next week, guys, thank you so much. I hope that these tarot cards have made a lot of impression on you today. Go out and be your best version possible. Love you all. Talk soon. Okay, bye.